morning, good morning, good morning. Beautiful Thursday morning, nine o'clock. On my way in, appointment in Halifax, and then I'm off over to the Plant Palace of Dartmouth. And the kilt that I had specially made in Scotland three months ago, it's in most of the parts. Should not say parts, I guess most of the the pieces that go together to bring it all in to play for the branding. I had this idea when I saw a guy in Digby at the Wharf Rat Rally a few years ago. Actually I had the idea before him for seeing him that I wanted to wear a kilt on a motorcycle, you know, with kind of heavy leather undergarment. You know, it's, the kilt is kind of showing your brand, but you still need adequate protection for your lower body. You get nailed with bees and bugs on the road, and uh, the wind, and if, you know, a mishap if you fall. So really, the kilt is no more than the vest. The vest is not the only thing that you wear, but it shows your brand. And it's the same with the kilt. So when I saw this guy in Digby, I went up and spoke to him, and I got some insight from him, told him what I was thinking, and I knew that I was gonna do it. But here it is two years later, and it's finally together. As the continent starts to open up again, I'll return to that journey of sort of the four corners, Halifax, Key West, San Diego, right up to BC and home in the kilt. And if we're gonna get to do Taktayakta this year, then it's gonna be in the kilt. But anyway, I'm excited to start the brand. A lot of things have come together to make this happen. I've got some exciting things that are coming up. New ideas all the time, so starting on the web page, trying to get that organized kind of as the launch pad that, you know, will give the, the connection to YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all these other things as I grow. But it's kind of home plate swing from there. So I have to say again, I'm quite excited. It gives me lots of ideas. It brings me back into my old career in forestry, the places that I've been. You know, I know exactly where I was when I had a planting contract in 1990, the year my son was born. And I can ride my dirt bike there now and I can stop there and it all comes back, but with the benefit of 31 years of history and experience. So, I guess it's an old saying, but the possibilities are endless with where I can go with this. I'm excited. You take it slow, but, you know, it's kind of got to pull the reins into myself a bit because I had wanted to write a novel. I loved to write, but I couldn't find my way how to start. And I just didn't have much of an attention span. I wanted to write a song, but I wasn't ready yet and didn't know what it would be. And someone told me, write a poem, then sing the poem now shorten it up and put a chord progression over it which is really what a song is but I couldn't get my focus on it and since 2012 I've been writing telling my story in some form with a cell phone and Facebook so if you see where I'm going with this 
it has all come together and given birth to this. It allows me to do every one of those things. I can tell my short stories. If YouTube says that the list that they provide, that there's a copyright, I've had a couple of infringements, disputes with music that they provide, well, I'm going to write my own. And I've watched closely the songs that I pick, the music background, and I hear the measures in the back, and I understand what theme I want. So I can tell my story, and I can write my song. And this just brings everything that I've try, been trying to do right within my grasp on a bike. Something I don't know that there's anything I love to do more than ride motorcycles, tell my story, play a little bit. Look at this guy coming. I could see him coming in the mirror. And... Anyway. It's going to be fun.